Would you like to turn your PDFs into fillable web forms? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey there, I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Google Drive. And like I mentioned, if you have PDFs in your Google Drive that people would normally fill out by hand, you can easily and simply turn those PDFs into a fillable web form that can be sent and they can fill out on their mobile device or on a desktop. So let me show you how easy it is to get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the top left-hand corner. We're gonna choose new, more. I'm gonna head down to connect more apps. Then we're gonna do a quick search for JotForm. Then I'm gonna choose the PDF filler by JotForm. And before installing, I highly encourage you to go ahead and take a quick scroll just to have some more information. We have an overview and additional information. And at this point, if you don't already have a JotForm account, this is the best time to go ahead and start one before we get connected. And keep in mind, JotForm does have a free account option. So I'm gonna head up to the top, go ahead and install and it's wanting us to choose an account. Now the email that it pulls to create the account for it is currently the same email that you are signed in for your Google Workspace. So if you want to change that, you'll wanna do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my account and we'll continue. Next, we'll allow access and continue. Now, as you can see, we have two different pop-ups. The first one says, make PDF filler by JotForm the default app for files it can open. Now, if you don't want the PDF filler to open every single time you open a PDF, you'll want to uncheck this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck this and do okay. And now it's showing us how to access the PDF filler. So all we need to do is right click on any document, open with, and we can choose that PDF filler. So let's go ahead and give this a test. So I have this about teacher PDF. I right click, open with, and we can do PDF filler by JotForm. Next, we'll choose our account and continue. And yes, we'll give that additional access. And we can see that it pulled in my PDF, which is on the right-hand side of the screen over here. And it pretty much mapped the fields into a fillable form, which is on the left-hand side. Now, if we click on any one of these, it's gonna draw a line to tell you exactly where it is going. So we see their name, their favorite place to buy school supplies, their favorite snack. But I do see that there are a couple that are missing. So right here, we're missing the grade and we're also missing a place for them to put their Amazon wish list. So really simple, if you are missing anything, over on the far left-hand side, we can add a form element. And for the grade, I'm gonna go ahead and choose that to be a drop down. So I'm gonna choose drop down and we're gonna put this right up at the top and we'll make this say grade. And again, you saw that green line go over showing you where it is. So we can put this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit my options to add in those grade levels. And we also have that Amazon wish list link that is missing. Now, if I scroll down, I can see that it is here, but if I click on it, it's not connected anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to add to PDF and I can come over here and add to PDF. Perfect, we can kind of put that where it needs to be. And we are good to go. So as someone fills this out, whenever they're done, they can choose to preview PDF and see what that looks like. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. If I do preview form, this is exactly what it's going to look like if I was going to send this to all of my teachers. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick fill form just to make things really simple for us. And we can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. And again, we can preview this PDF and we can see what this is going to look like. Perfect, we can see that this is a kindergarten teacher. Her name is Janet, her birthday, everything is just filling out perfectly. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to take PDFs that are currently in your Google Drive and turn them into fillable documents with JotForm, let us know. And I'll see you next time.